Get ready for me while I tell you the most hilarious story from my childhood. Well, it's actually not funny because it's evil, but yeah. Okay, so my older brother used to have friends over all the time. I mean, all the time until my parents had to like stop it because it was getting so bad. But um, whenever he was like 13, 14, 15, and even 12, he would have these boys over like all the time and not just like one, he would have a ton of them over. And me being like the little sister, I like wanted to play with them, but they'd always tell me no, which was fine. Like my parents would be like, Kylan, get away from them. Mm. So I would, but I, I was like, keep in mind, Kylan was like seven, eight at this period of my life. But there's this one boy, I'm just gonna say, his name was JJ. And I was literally obsessed with him whenever I was a child. Like this is embarrassing. Cause I don't even know like where he's at now. I just think it's hilarious. Um, and I had the biggest crush on him, and he was one of my brother's, like, best friends whenever he was growing up. They're on, like, the same baseball team and everything. Well, anyway, fast forward. Whenever these friends of my brother's would come over, they would, like, mess with me. Like, shoot me with airsoft guns. They were just, like, so mean to me because they're, like, literally, like, preteen boys just being evil. And I was, like, the little kid that they could pick on. So they would always mess with me. And so I'd always run in, and I'd cry to my dad, and he'd be like, well, do back, like, do something to get him back. Okay, he was like, Kylan, you got one to stand up for yourself. You're not going to let people walk away from you your whole life. So one day, I decided to. And I do not recommend for anybody to do this. This is terrible. But they were shooting airsoft guns outside. And they were, like, just shooting me, just going after me. And, like, I even went inside, and I was laying in my little bed. And they came inside and shot me there. And I, I've had it. I had it. So I walked up to the JJ kid. And I was like, hey, JJ. And, like... I was just messing with him and I was like, hold your hand like this. Well, after he did this, I decided to take his pinky and take his thumb and pull it down as hard as I could. And I'm pretty sure I broke his hand. Um, he never came over after that. And I'm pretty sure his parents were like ticked at mine. And yeah, after that, none of the boys when they came over to Cole's, like to play with Cole, they didn't mess with me ever again. I mean, ever. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I broke his hand. I mean, don't quote me on it, but, like, he never came over after that. I never saw him with Cole again. And, like, my brother was really mad at me for a long time. I do regret breaking his hand. I maybe took the message of, like, wanting them to not pick on me and, like, messing with them a little too far. But, oh, and don't do that, by the way. That's unsafe. But, like, yeah, that's how I got my brother's teenage friends to stop bothering me. Oh, yeah, I've been sleeping with Vaseline on. My eyelashes is growing. Okay, now I gotta go run errands for my mom so I don't get kicked out.